Hello, I am happy to present another video report about the progress of frame-by-frame -frame implementation in Synfig. Uh, so we have following improvements uh, made by Ivan for the last week. Uh, first of all, uh, now we have a possibility to save the changed images. If you edit image in Synfig, then you can save it. So we have an image, this one. Let's import it into Synfig. Scale. And uh, let's paint something. using the brush tool. Uh, after that, let's save file. Okay, the file is saved and uh, so the image. We have all changes saved. Uh, for the future, we plan to make uh, only the embed images editable, but not the external images, because uh, these have uh, conceptual reasons for that. But at the moment, well, it can't be saved. Uh, the next is uh, the undo feature. When you paint on the image, now it is uh, displayed like a, like an action, like everything should be done in Synfig, and you can undo your actions like it should be. That's what was done for the painting. Uh, the next feature is uh, um, where we get directly to the frame by frame animation. It's a component which we need for frame by frame animation. Let's create two layers, two circle layers, and for example, one square. Uh, let's make it blue, for example, or violet. And uh, I will put uh, shorter names for them. Okay. Mm, so Ivan have added a new uh, type of the group, which called switch group. And this is a special type of the group which uh, is intended for displaying only one layer, only one child layer of from the whole subset. The displayed layer is defined by the active layer name parameter. So, as you probably guess, it's the layer name, what should we put here? Like this, we can, well, it's not a number, so uh, I would like to to put a real name, so you won't confuse it with the integer number or something else. So the order of the layers isn't uh, um, doesn't have any influence for the layer selection. It's only the layer uh, name De determines which one is displayed. And of course, as this is a parameter, 
so we can animate it so for example we can go here and make it display layer 1 and make it display layer 3 etc so we have an animation this is a basic infrastructure for the bitmap frame by frame animation for providing bitmap frame by frame animation and as well as the foundation for the vector frame by frame animation for the future so some people might ask the question uh, which layer will be active if uh, there are several layers with the same name in the layer stack uh, this is possible within Synfig. Uh, if there are several layers, then the... Well, let's make it more different. Okay, so you can... Then the first one is uh, chosen. Here we have it set to layer 3 and the topmost layer 3 is chosen so that's it uh, now we have uh, a basic pieces uh, um, implemented and uh, the next step is to put all that together and make it uh, functional um, and uh, comfortable to work with uh, I hope we will be able to bring you uh, the final demonstration within this week, so stay tuned and uh, goodbye, till the next time.